Hi guys and welcome back. So today we have another Banggood window shopping video and some information and some stuff. Let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, anything that I'm going to check out in order, I'll have it linked down below. We'll take the links of everything we check out. So if you wanted to keep up, you can go ahead and do that. So something you need to know about this time of year, this is, you know, towards the end of summer after summer season is basically when companies start releasing the newer products. I don't know why, but I guess summer season is considered a slow season for the drone industry, I guess. I, I, it just doesn't make any sense to me. But then when I think about it, you know, people are going to vacations. Uh, the kids are out of school. So they're probably going to vacation with their family or something of that nature. Because most of my demographic or most of the people that watch, you know, I think this, these types of videos and these types of things, especially when I check on my YouTube statistics, it's at late 20s and above, basically. It's between, you know, 29-year-olds up to, I don't know, 37-year-olds. There's even higher, but those are the majorities in that age. So most of them probably have kids and a family going on vacations and stuff so i guess once they go in school then they get time for themselves and i kind of understand that actually myself so let's get started here so obviously we start seeing new things this is a uh, it's pretty expensive for a heat sink this is a tico 32 heat sink basically it's a typhoon 32 v2 so they are made from the same place now i don't know if the capacitor are exactly the same on each of them but i mean it's nice it protects your system it keeps the thingy pretty uh, cool keeps the ESC pretty cool. So that's I guess that's pretty cool. I've linked it down below. Oh there look here's a little split Frame <laughs> That's pretty interesting. So yeah, let's just take a look at this one. I'm gonna try to get one of these Compare it to the drone mesh split saying um, This one looks a little bit too looks fat kind of um, But I don't know we're gonna have to check it out. There's not really much room look at the back right there So yeah, this will be pretty interesting. I guess so that's something there. So this is, I guess, a new company. You are you. No, I've heard of them before. They're all right. They're okay. I haven't really tried anything from them, but yeah. RCN Power, new motors. 2305 and a 2306. Hack RC. Hmm. Did I get one of these? No, this is a 50 amp one. This is pretty interesting. I'll leave a link down, down below. I'll try to get one. Under restocking. So like I always say, Hack RC is hit and miss products. Filtration looks minimal. Um, But we don't know what's on the... Oh, okay, okay. All right. Okay. That's nice. Okay. Five volt. If it had a nine volt regulator and it performed a little bit above average, this would be possibly a new, can it be a budget? No, this was no way in hell it's a budget. Um, but ah, it seems good. I guess BLH32 ES, see? Did it say telemetry? Let's see. Telemetry, telemetry, telemetry. Nope. No telemetry. So maybe you could probably get telemetry for one of these, but it's a headache and you really don't want to use to do that anyways. Uh, so yeah, I'll leave a link to this down below. I'll try to get one of these. Uh, they're under restocking, so I don't know when, but yeah, that's something pretty interesting. Um, let's see, SPC. Well, oh, I don't know about them. Okay, F7V1. Um, personally, I really don't like this type of flight controller. It's not that I don't like it. I just don't like setting up. It's really annoying. Um, and I don't know. It's not my thing here. So these are some spare parts. Furious FPV. Hmm. Furious. This looks pretty nice, I guess. How much does it cost? 40 bucks. Okay. 32 kilohertz. Okay, so it's sensitive gyro. It's a sensitive gyro. Take that into consideration. If you know what you're doing, then you go grab this. If you don't know what the hell you're doing, get the best ESCs tested. So, yeah. Um, this will be pretty interesting. What does it have on board, actually? Let's see. Do we have... Okay, it just has a 5-volt regulator on board. Um, F4. It should have no SD. It takes up to a 6S. F4, yes. Sensitive gyro. Um, hmm, 3.3 for you know, spectrum and stuff. Clean and easy connect for one ESC. How do you know if all of them are the same? VTX, Flometry, Stealth Race Shrimp, okay. All right, well, I mean, okay, it does have OSD, that's important. Um, it looks okay. That's all I can really say. Um, I'm probably going to get one, try to try to see or show you the difference between this and a, just an MP6000 gyro. So this is pretty cool. What is this? Uh, this is pretty interesting. 
These are well, all right, whatever. They don't look that interesting. Let's take a look here. Oh, do you know who, who do you know do you know do you know what brand this is? This is a Sky Zone. Uh what is it? This is Sky Zones right here. This is Sky, Sky Zones brand by the way. So this is uh, I guess from Sky Zone. So it's a Sky Zone frame. I don't know why they didn't do anything like mention it, but it's super 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 thin. How how much does it weigh? Theoretically weight is 84 grams. Um six millimeter arms 220 mil it's a five inch quadcopter foxier micro um i'm gonna see if i can get one it's, it's a little bit expensive but i'm very curious how it'll fly actually it just looks interesting it looks different um so that's something pretty cool we got more batteries and stuff full speed i don't know this is just a regular vtx so i miss uh brushed micros but they really don't last long this is interesting Okay, so basically I am uh, working on the camera drone and uh, this, this just gives me inspiration. Look at it. This thing is crazy. The new Pixhawk. Why does it look so crazy? That's just awesome actually. It just looks like it's water cooled or something. That is pretty awesome actually. So yeah, I'm going to see. I'm going to start to talk to Banggood. Hope maybe they could send this over and we could finish that build with it. I'll, I'll have to link it down below under restocking 300 bucks pretty expensive but um it could be pretty proper also 80 bucks is the new dal rc hmm it's kind of expensive actually does it have telemetry wires out not that i care but i mean some people might so here we have you know pictures of the design here and sizes and everything um Okay, so it takes three to six S LiPo. That's the only difference. I think filtration is about going to be the same, if not a little bit. Strong. It has to be a little bit better, to be honest. So once we get it, we'll go ahead and check this out. Um, I don't know what to expect, but I do expect noise on six S setups. You know, it's very difficult to remove noise unless you have a thousand connected uh, to each ESC that takes a six S uh, LiPo. In my opinion, so I'll have to link down down below. Um, fly shark this looks it looks cool i mean that's why i'm clicking on it usually i really don't really care about these but um it just looks kind of cool i guess rc lance i guess they're rebranding from airbot these people it actually looks pretty sick that looks pretty awesome it looks fucking awesome sorry about the language i know some people hate that so what is this? it's a five inch quadcopter 800 maximum 800 milliwatt vtx f4 osd uh the escs i really want to see what escs it's using it's not saying 40 ambient high 32 well it could wow look at it it's so sexy it's actually nice i really want one i haven't wanted one like out of just i i just want it because it looks right now i don't know how the hell it's going to perform but reinforced okay well i don't really care about that but um it looks awesome i know it's not about looks but it's just something different i really like this actually i really do like this i'll leave a link to it down below it's under restocking p and p and um bnf so it'll be a while till we see that one uh let's see what else we have vifly finder so this is kind of like the what is it called uh hellgate keeper i don't did i ever make the video for that one i forgot because i got one to make a video for but yeah i guess this is like the clone version cheap version of it all right let's see i'll leave linked it down below if you're curious the other one is like oh it's very expensive actually uh the 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 hellgate keeper but i mean it could be worth it but i mean you can make it a lot cheaper like here they should just drop their price down and i think they'd sell more AJLRC 20 amp 4 and 1 ESC. What is this? It's a 20 by 20. Uh, I'm trying to stay away from HGLRC. I just the, the quality just don't seem as good as other companies, in my opinion. Um, that's just my opinion at the current moment of time. But yeah, so I really don't care about that. This looks interesting. Ooh, an $8 30 amp ESC with a ton load of caps and small MOSFETs could be another budget one soon that's just awesome fly fox it looks good we got a fat tantalum capacitor we got a bunch of caps here bl heli s i don't care two to four s that's fine uh this is this could be great for the budget user mosfets are pretty small 
Uh, time will tell. Eight dollars. Eight dollars and fifty-five cents. Hell yes. We're gonna see how these gonna perform. It's gonna be pretty crazy. So I'll have to link that one down below. I think. Yeah, I did. Yes, right there. Fly fox. All right. Go fly. Hmm. What is this? Don't really care. Oh, they finally thirty. Goddamn. Oh my goodness. Thirty bucks for this. Thirty dollars for ESCs. I don't know how big they are. But yes, I'm gonna see what I can do with this. I really need to see if I can get my hands on some. The Racer Star finally came out. Thirteen dollars. That's pretty good price. Scary priced a little bit maybe. Still no more pictures. There is no filtration anywhere. I don't understand. I will rate this ESC 5 out of 10. Looks cool. It's small. Success. No real noise filtration. A lot of space to put that filtration. The ESC would be 10 out of 10 if it had more board. Make a V2 with more capacitor. Have you tried this ESC? Well, I don't know. This is um pretty interesting, I might say. I don't know what to expect with this. I have to get some to see how well these perform. Um, yeah, there's no filtration. I, I, dude, that's, it's actually pretty scary. Because uh, back then, they used to just stick a fat, low ESR capacitor on each ESC. And that's how they would sell them. Or just a big capacitor. Spedex. Oh, my goodness. Spedex. We have a lot of Spedex lovers. Some Spedex stuff is good. Some is a piece of shit. And that's how life is, you know. Whether you like it or not. This looks cool, but it looks cool. That's all. That's it. I don't understand it. Just now, it just looks retarded. Is it like a mini heatsink in a way, or to hide how many caps on board? I don't know, but expected. And I'll leave a link to down below. I'm definitely gonna try to get one of these. So it's a full, you know, Bill Holly 32 sized 4-in-1 ESC. I think we've seen these. Um, yeah, I think we did see these and uh in the last video so that's just it some of the new things that are out right now and um i think that's really it i think there's really nothing else i'm supposed to receive an fr sky x light supposedly but um i don't know when i don't know if it went back i don't know if i received it i don't know anything about it what the hell is this it's crazy jumper uh i'll pass so um I don't know. I, I really hope I get one of these too, by the way. Um, coming soon. This is going to be pretty interesting. It looks it looks ugly, you know? I think they could have done a... Maybe it's just they went towards ergonomics a lot more, but I, once I have it in my hand, I'll know for sure. But um, yeah, I'll leave a link to it. It's going to be the last link here. I'll leave a link to this one down below if you want to check it out. So yeah, um, that's really it. I'm going to be doing more builds now on the channel and more real life testing and all, as well as my testing here. So I've, I have I'm just waiting for the GoPro to come. Um, I, I I'm going to I haven't ordered it, but I think I'm gonna I figured which one I'm gonna order, or I'm trying to look on online on Facebook people around me that want to sell them, and uh, try to get you know two cheap ones instead of one expensive one, uh, maybe two session fours just in case if I lose one I could still go fly and then I could have time to find it again, and uh, maybe build a ESC finding quad. Um, that's probably very important to do and um, Yeah, I think that's it guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video um, It might be long for some people some people might enjoy these kind of things, but um, overall It looks pretty fun pretty interesting new things and we're just gonna see a lot more things to come out step by step What the hell is this? I think this is for Maytech. Yeah, this is crazy uh, This is for fixed wings Maytech is kind of Maytech is transitioning uh, They're basically they're what is it called? their research and development department into other things other than drones because you know they just built pretty good flight controllers and i think they're working on an esc or something for 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 one of these things or something i don't really know what they're doing but yeah they're gonna be doing some crazy new stuff so this is pretty interesting fixed wings it's called the f411 wing um i kind of want to try one to be honest i want, really want to build a wing somehow i don't even know how but i really want to play with those those look very fun actually 33 bucks i'll leave a link to it down below it'll be just right under the uh fly skies thingy but um yeah well that's it guys i really hope you enjoyed the video and um i will see you next time see you guys take care